Hey, welcome back to the shop. I'm doing a quick intro for this video because uh, um, I shot it as part of uh, another video while I'm, while I'm turning this. But um, I thought it'd be a good idea to uh, leave the uh, 4040 sharpening part as a separate video because it might help you uh, either sharpen yours or give you an idea to uh, get one because it's not that difficult to uh, sharpen. One of the reasons why people stay away from the 4040 gouge is because they believe that it has to be uh, freehand to sharpen and that's not the case and this video will illustrate that. Um, I'll be using a uh, Ron Brown uh, with a jig and uh, I will leave you a link on the description to his uh, to his YouTube channel he has a website and you can buy your own uh, template for it okay if I'm gonna try a no sand and bowl that's gonna take uh, very sharp tools and a lot of sharpening so I'm gonna do my one, two, three, four, forty, forties, and probably two um, swept back sixty degrees for like shear and scraping. And uh, uh, to do a forty forty on your uh, Wolverine, um, I use a uh, Ron Brown. You can look him up on YouTube. He sells this uh, thing, so basically, in your one-way berry grind, you will pop this guy in here, and that uh, will give you the angle that you need, like this distance. Once you have that, you can just mark it. In my case, it's marked that it says 40-40, and I have marks for all of them. So, and again, this this guy here has to be all the way up and uh, unlike all of my other gouges I do a one and three quarter the protrusion here um, to do the 40 40 is uh, three inches and his thing is already set up for uh, the three inch distance so you do this and has your three inches Tie that up. Let this come up to speed. And voila, that guy is done. You can, um, you can also remove some of the heel. It works uh, when you're doing the outside of a bowl, it doesn't matter. But removing, uh, like leaving like about one eighth of an inch here, uh, when you're doing the inside, it works a lot better. For the inside, for the outside, it doesn't make a difference. But, um, so that guy is done. Do this guy. I like the. Uh, Stewart body 40 40s because you can just swap them and keep going if you have multiples. You can also make you don't have to. Um, I have a couple that I actually made the uh, little one, I'll show you in a second. it didn't go all the way you have to pay attention uh, you can also do half like for example like half like this then you know half and then yeah you want to have this wing straight as straight as possible 
if it's not straight, if let's say you have a bit of a bump, just pay attention when you're grinding and you will see it disappear if you're in that area. So, that's that guy. Uh, this is one that I made. This was originally, uh, I believe it, a Glenn Lucas. Uh, it's a double ender which has a. Uh, it was a Glen Lucas in one end and I also a Glen Lucas bottom of the bowl in the other end. Uh, as long as it has a, a V shape, uh, you can just grind it to 40-40. And also, when, if you buy this from uh, Ron Brown, uh, it comes with instructions as to how to make your 40-40. I don't want to get into that right now. It's, uh, it's just sharpening it. My advice is if you if you like to buy tools, which we all do, um, I kind of had when I got into this, I had more buying power than I do now. I'm now crying. I'm just saying it like it is. Uh, what I learned is once you experience a tool and you get your favor, and instead of just buying other stuff, you're better off buying few of the exact same. Because if you if you become good, you will wear them up. Because you will sharpen a lot. If you don't sharpen because you're trying to save your tool, uh, you're gonna wind up with shit children basically. Uh, you you learn to sharpen more often because there's less sanding, and sometimes there is no sanding at all if you do it right. see but there is a bit of a bump there okay now it's gone there's a bit of a bird there you see but That's it for this guys, anyways I'm not going to bore you anymore, uh, most people know how to sharpen, I uh, just wanted to show you more about the 40-40, uh, so I got my mark here for, uh, for my sweat back, so now I have it set up and now I'm going to go to one and three quarter and move this guy, so anyways, let, uh, I'll catch up with you when we start turning. Well, that's it for this one. Uh, now I'm going to tackle this guy. I will record that so if you're watching this video and uh, you're interested in uh, my third try of uh, no sand and <laughs> calabash bowl, which I tried. Be I did make it. It's just that I had to do a little bit of sanding and, you know, I just need to get it perfect. That's me. But Anyways, uh, this is usually the part where people do all the digital begging, where, hey, please do this, do that, and I'm just going to thank you for hanging out here, and I'll catch up with you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.